Good morning, guys. It was so hard for me to wake up right now. I just want to go lay back in my bed. I am so tired, but I'm awake, and I am going to eat some bananas and try and move on with my day. Good morning, everybody. Raymond made me some breakfast. He cut me up some delicious mango and two bananas, and it is to die for. So happy, so excited. I love this man so very much. How are you, Daddy Bear? Good. Who's picking up who early today? You're picking me up, so oh. I can go to your doctor's appointment with, with you. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Yes. <gasps> I'm gonna scream out loud. Ah! Uh, He's ready to go into, uh, as I say, to, into bed. Into work? This lens is into filthy. Bed. I love you. I love you too. I'll see you at 10. No, you'll see me at 11. 10.53. I'll see you at 10. Okay. I'll be like, I'm out here. At 10. And it'll be like, crap, I gotta get off of work. I love you. I love you too. Bye, baby. Have a wonderful day. Okay, you too. I'm home now. I already fed the dogs before I left, so I think I'm gonna take a shower and then try to take a little bit of a nap. I started getting kind of car sick on the way over here, so just want to take it easy and chill. So I just got done getting ready. I took a shower. Now I'm on my way to go pick up Raymond so we can go to the uh, doctor's appointment. He really wanted to go. My doctor's appointment was at 11.20 and he normally gets out at 3 so he's getting out early and yeah so I'm on my way over there. I don't feel very good. I got my little baggie in case I needed to puke. Another thing that really that was really weird that like left me immobilized was that I was yawn I yawned while I was getting ready and this nasty pain from like my side to my shoulder. It just hurt. I don't know what that is. I was trying to look and I guess I just must have like a muscle cramp or something, but I don't know. I'm gonna tell Raymond when I when I see him and I might bring it up to my doctor and I'm also gonna tell him about the kidney stone and ah. So like I said, I don't feel very well and yeah, so here we go. I don't know what it is, but every time I get over here to Raymond's work, I can't send messages, I can't go online, I don't know what it is, like, these two are pending. He's like, I'll be nearby, I'm like, I'm all here, but he won't ever know that. <sighs> no, what, did you take a nap or something? Why? Because you weren't talking to me at all. Well, I mean, I was like, honestly, I was going, I went to go do that because I showered, and then I got out of the shower, and then I was like, I'm asleep for like an hour, tell me why I sat that entire hour just laying in bed looking at mines. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> you're so bad. You're bad. I'm normal. No, you wish, but you're not. You're the most unnormal person I've ever met. Oh, wonderful. So where are we off to? To the doctor. For like nine hours. For him to be all like, hi. I'm like, hi. And he's like, I'll see you in two weeks. Raymond's over here taking shots of this pixie stick like it was heroin. Like, you, like it was. You don't take shots of heroin out. Okay, you're doing lines of pickies, pick, pickies, picky sticks, like he sticks. I don't feel good. No, no. I just asked him not to inhale it though, because I could just imagine a bunch of it. It's gonna be like the cinnamon challenge, but like with our lives and pixie sticks. So I suppose nothing like the cinnamon challenge. Ah, oh, camera almost fell out of my hand. How is it? Is it delish? I got a free candy, ladies and gentlemen, because I donated some money to the, the people oh. on the side of the road. Raymond. I do not remember pixie sticks tasting like that. Oh, why is it so sour? <laughs> Here at the doctors. At where, Daddy? Doctors. Doctors. Oh, oh, how'd it go? I feel like you're the pregnant one. I know. You are. The appointment went so well. Was your hand on your chest? Yes. You loser. Well, it's actually uh, like right underneath my oh. chest. But uh, yeah, the appointment went really well, and we got to listen to the baby's heartbeat, and it was like, yeah. And he said it was it was good. And he said it was good, and it was healthy, and that you can't tell the baby's gender by the heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so. We had a good appointment, and um, Allie is still anemic, like always. So, you know, she doesn't eat enough iron f heavy food, so it looks like I'm gonna have to actually force feed her vitamins. Yeah, and it, but it's not that, you guys, even at my healthiest, which was right before we started, started trying to conceive the first time, I got all of my blood work done, I was 
a-okay perfection in everything except that. I don't know what it is. No matter how hard I try, I can't do it. Well, they, a lot originally, of my doctors, they originally told you it's because you're heavy periods, but you yeah. haven't had a period for two months. I mean, yeah, but celebration of baby blastoids. What are we eating? Junk food, like every other day. It's Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell. It's junk. Taco junk. Well, I don't know what my problem is. I know what mine is. What's your problem? I'm obese. Raymond. And I'm gonna have an obese baby. No, you're not gonna have an obese baby. Why are you gonna have an obese baby? Because if you eat fat, your kids eat fat. That's not case. And unfortunately, we haven't changed so far, so we probably aren't going to change. <sighs> Here are our seven layer burritos, minus cheese, minus sour cream, add potatoes grilled with some red and green sauce. Ah, Raymond has no tomatoes in his because he whack, but the tomatoes well forgive him. Potatoes. So me and Raymond are amazed. What are you what have you been playing on? Oh this is burrito number three by the way if anyone was yeah, wondering. I already ate my third burrito. But this one was ordered in a special way. How yeah. was it ordered? So Taco Bell has a new app and their app, basically, you can order whatever you want and customize it however you want and it tells you how much it's gonna be. And now I can all my I can make all my dreams come true. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see sneak peek. Okay, so look. So what you can do is you can order, so say I want a beefy, I want to veganize the beefy Fritos burrito. Yeah. So I'm gonna click on it. And there it is. And then, so I'm like, oh, beef, that's not vegan. So I'm gonna go through, and there's extra beef, or you can do chicken, steak, shredded chicken, and beans. So there's the beans, and then there's the Latin rice, nacho cheese, obviously I don't want any of that, and then Fritos, so that's what's normally on it. And you can go over to the add-ons, and if I wanted to give it a little bit of like, I don't know. A picante flavor? Um, well, no, if I wanted to give it like moisture in there, I can oh. add some guacamole. And I add potatoes to everything, so we'd add potatoes. And then there's other stuff you can add, but I don't really want to add anything. So you would add it to your order, it would add the item, and you can see it. And I just got a customized Beefy Fritos burrito for $1.75. That is insane, and no one has, no, like, I know being vegan and ha having to customize things can get really confusing for the other person on the other line, and it's not their fault, I mean, as long as they're not rude, but, you know, sometimes it gets a little yeah. bit, it's a little difficult, you know, people don't yeah. understand, and then, then you get the rude people who be like, wow, well, then without the meat, it's not a burrito, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you buying it? Taco Bell on you right? today? Like, <laughs> so, but it's fun. I'm gonna tell everybody about this. Taco Bell, if you're watching this, sponsor me. I love your tacos. Oh my God, we love you, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, right, Taco Bell, I'm watching this. Know, but right? it is really, really cool for any vegans or even non vegans. Like, this is really easy. If you got like kids, hey, sisters. Taco Bell. Yes. Is your mango barbecue sauce vegan? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> but my little sisters are also really weird when it comes to ordering food, and now they don't even have to look at a human being again. Yay! Yay. <laughs> For the digital age. Yeah, an awkward news. Here we come. Okay, so nobody laugh at me out there, but from where I'm sitting, this like sticker looks like Freddie Mercury. And I'm sure it's, I'm like 100% sure it's not, but that's what it looks like. No, it doesn't look like it anymore up close. Never mind, because you guys, Never mind, because from the way I can see it, it's like this. So I'm like, oh, look at that, it's Freddie Mercury. I'm like, I got some HD eyes, but not like that. He knows. Shout out to all my purrs. I eat pears. Ooh, did your new shorts come in? Yeah. Those are yours? Look how sexy I'll be in them. <laughs> You're such a jerk, whose are those? Those are yours. <gasps> Oh, they're like legging shorts. Are they? That's what I need. I need <laughs> they're very thin. You know what I you know what I need though for real? Wow, I love this. <laughs> Can I have shorts like made like this all the time? You guys, yeah, Raymond's right. They're like they're like they give the impression of jean material, but it's a napkin. It's a one ply napkin. Oh, cute, cutifuls, because Lord knows it's getting hot out there, isn't it? Yeah, 
I feel like these are like swap meet pants. Like a swap meet sold maternity? Yeah. I'm sure swap meet does. Huge, cute. It's a dark wash and the medium wash. I like the medium one better. I like dark for like more like classier things. Classier in shorts. Yeah, like if you're gonna dress them up. Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking at? What? <laughs> what? Last pair. So I just want everybody to know this is fifty dollars worth of clothing. I know, isn't that terrible? But we tried getting the the ones at JC Penny, but they didn't have my size. I know, it was boo. It was so boo. I wanted to die. But I think we're done with maternity as far as maternity shopping comes. Uh, I mean, I think I'll be able to survive with these. Yeah. She's got red and blue and two pairs of jeans. Yep. Now it's time to try them on. Yep. All right, so these are the red shorts. And I think they look a little uncomfortable, but apparently they're comfortable. Well, I mean, are they too, do you think they're going to be too small? I don't know. Because, I mean, I don't know. Those are supposed to be tied, by the way. In case anybody's wondering about those strings. But yeah, put it over. What? I put it over. What's it look like? Tell me what it looks like, please. Raymond, you're Raymond. Well, it looks fine. They look cute? Yeah. Let's see if I can sit in them. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I think you're gonna have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. Look! Look at the bulge. That's my thumb. That's why I said they look a little uncomfortable. Well, I'm not gonna bother putting on those blue ones. I'll return them. Alright. <sighs> All right, and these are the jeans, and I think they look way better. They don't look nearly as tight on the, because the other ones look tight on the thigh. The thigh. And look, okay, sit down, Tess. Oh, look, no bulges, like bul yeah. bulging. Yeah. Well, like, those pants, again, they're like, uh, they're like legging, legging material. Like, very stretchy. I like them, though. They're cute. They're cute. And they're thin, too, because... It's hot. It is so hot. It's so hot. hot. It is hot. Oh my god, you guys. I'm being abducted by aliens. This is about like the third or second time that... No. Oh no. I keep on falling asleep for what I think are intervals of like five seconds. I know, like hours. I've slept... How many times have I slept? You went to sleep twice. I've gone to sleep an twice. An hour each time. An hour each time. And I swear to god, he just left. Raymond just left. I'm tired. Alright everybody, well I am officially done so for the day so, so we will see you guys tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's vlog, you should leave us a comment or subscribe. Share us with your friends because we're kind of weird and people like weird things. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit upset right now because we've been watching The L Word and I don't like Jenny. Not the character, no, I mean the character, not the actress or anything like that, but like, spoiler alert, even though I don't think anyone needs a spoiler alert, but if you're like, never seen The L Word and want to watch it, stop right now, but if you don't care, she kills herself. And I've known this from like, what, like episode three? And honestly, this is the only thing that's keeping me throughout each season, the knowledge that she dies. And that's terrible to say. But she's a fictional character, and I don't not a very good one either. I don't like her as a person, as a character, but she kills herself. And I've been wanting to see how she leads up to this downfall, and we're finally in this last season. They hint us in the first season, you know, they pull out her body from the, excuse me, from the pool, and I'm like, great, I finally get to see what made her happen. My lovely husband told me that I have to watch all eight episodes to see how she did it. I'm like, haven't I been tortured enough? We're on season six, and she's been in season, like, all of the, uh, I'm just so done. So, so done. <sighs> but whatever. We got done of with two episodes, so we have, what, four more to go. So, yeah, but, um, don't like her. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Bye.